Hello and welcome. In this video series of Azure DevOps repos, today we are going to learn how we can check in code in Azure DevOps from Visual Studio Code. In the next video, we will learn how we can create a pipeline on Azure DevOps. I have also created a playlist on Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Database for MySQL and Azure Key Vault. If you are interested, I will provide a link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. So to push our code from Visual Studio Code into Azure DevOps repositories, let's go to dev.azure.com first. I have already signed it into the portal. If you are not signed into the portal, you can sign into the portal using your uh, credentials. So here we have to create a new project first. Click on new project. Enter the name of the project. So we can enter any desired name. Let's say Then we can enter the description of the project. Whatever description we wish, we can enter that description here. Then we have to choose a visibility. Either this project can be public or this project can be private. As uh, currently I'm using this private option for my project. I'm not going to share this uh, project with anyone else. Then we can go to advanced features. Here we are going to choose the uh, version control system. So we are choosing Git here. We can choose either Teams Foundation or Git. Then we have to choose the work item process. It's basic work item. We click on this create button. So we have successfully created our code by test project. Here this project is currently private. So then we have to go to this repos for pushing in code to this project. So here we have this link, HTTPS link. We can use this link to clone this code in the Visual Studio code or we can use this git command. So let's copy this git command from here. So this will do one thing. This will map our project from our local repository to this DevOps repository using this remote add origin. So let's go to Visual Studio code. So I have already created a project here. So let's enter this command here. If we are first time using the git command here, it may ask us for credentials. Let me do the credentials here. You can sign in. So I have successfully signed into the project. Everything on the uh, DevOps repository is up to date now. Let's go to DevOps repositories again. Let's go to repos. So we have successfully mapped this project with our local repository. Now we will push that code from VS code to this repository. So let's click on page, some Intel message, initial commit. Click on enter. So it's saying us we have these files are untracked. So before using git commit, we so we have to add these uh, files to our code. So we have to use git add this store means all. So all the files are added now. Now we can use git commit. This message is initial commit. Click on enter. So all the files are committed now. Now we can push this code using git push command. git push Now we have successfully pushed our code from Visual Studio Code to this DevOps repository. These are the files that were on our local repository. Let me show you from Visual Studio Code encrypt.cs, encryption project CS proj, host.json git ignore and properties let us go to devops repositories so these are the files encryption.cs proj encrypt.cs so we have successfully pushed code from our visual studio code to this devops repository 
Thanks for watching.